Huckabee. You know that. Oi, get back here. Shit. What do you think? Just run, you idiot. Bollocks. Over there. Come on, down here. No, eat. There's a train. Peter. Just don't stop. Come on, this way. See you. Come on. Nice work. What? Huh? You're late. Uh, who the hell are you? You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. Anyway, come on. We can probably still make it if you're quick. What are you talking about? Hang on, Pete. Hey, mate, can you get us out of here? What? Are you kidding? Didn't you hear me? We don't have time for this. Either you're coming or piss off. But don't expect a refund. This isn't a charity. Guess we're going with him, then. Radioactive, get back! Chicken. Sam! Oh my god. It's now or never, son! They're over there! So be it. Wait! You're nicked. The other one's through that door! Gotcha! No. I, I don't believe it. out of here. Ready when you are. I did my lunch already, so you don't need to worry about that. And I know you said I couldn't have crust sandwiches, but I put ketchup on it, so it's one of my five a day. Oh, and before I forget, you know I asked you to sign my homework diary. Well, you don't need to worry about that anymore. I managed to forge your signature. 
friendly reminder, there's nothing in the freezer. Can you go to the shop? Maybe get some of that new mouthwash while you're there. You know, the one with the picture of the dragon on the bottle. It's the best one because it shows all the bits of bad breath in the sink when you spit it out. Dad, can I get an electric toothbrush for my birthday? My friend Dylan has one. He said it's really fun, like going on the car wash, but in your mouth. Maybe we could share it with two different brush heads, obviously. You need a new toothbrush anyway, and your one has hairs all over it. And it looks as flat as a pancake. Dad, how comes I have hair and you don't? Right, we're ready to leave. Phone, Dad. Damn it. Give it a buzz for me, Mum. Downstairs is a rotten turnip. I don't want to be a turnip, rotten or otherwise. And some post for that man, Jack. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Well, postman not doing his job properly, I suppose. Guess we better do it for him. Roger that! So, chicken dippers for dinner? Well, maybe something a bit more nutritious. I was thinking couscous. Wow, get you, Jamie Oliver. Hello, Jack. Oh, hey. Uh, I've got your post again. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, cheers. Jack, your clothes look mental. <laughs> what? No, they're not. Come on, Mo, leave the fella alone. They're so tight, doesn't your will get pinched? <laughs> Funny kid. Anyway, I have to go. Uh, nice seeing you both. Uh, do you have any post for us? Yeah, hand it over. Stealing posts is a crime. Ah, oh, yeah, I do. Here you go. Sorry, it's a bit of a pile. Some of these are two months old. You messed up, Jack. Anyway, um, I've really got to run. Don't give yourself a wedgie. That guy doesn't have his head screwed on properly. I like him. Promise me you won't turn out like that. Don't worry, Dad. Your daughter's a super genius. Where you get it from, I don't know. Why don't you and Jack be friends? You don't have any friends. The older you get, the less friends you have. It's just the way it is. Anyway, I do have friends. What about Shazia? Yeah, but she's a work friend. You need cooler friends. Friends who jog and have stupid hair. Yeah, your definition of cool is slightly different to my mum. You were kidding about the couscous, right? You're going to turn into a chicken dipper one of these days, and then they'll lock me up. 
Well, that's silly. I think some of these letters are from social services again. Don't worry. If they send one of those people around again, I'll shoot them with a machine gun, then push them down the rubber chute. Right, see you later then, nuisance. Don't forget dinner. Love you too. Gross. Bye, Dad. Hello again. Small world. Yep. This your normal commute? Sorry, mate, what with that? Oh, I was just asking where you work. Yeah, I work. Sorry, yeah, I, I work by Salt Cellar Lane. Okay, well, um, thanks again for the letters. Sorry. I'm being rude. Don't worry. See you around. Expensive stuff. Are you guys all right? The screen smashed. Do you know how expensive these are? Look, let me uh, let me help you out. Get away from my stuff, thief! Whoa, chill out. Give me your arm. You two, you two. Made for each other. What did? Sorry, did did you just say something? Sorry, mate. Oh, gotta go. Right. What time do you call this? Sorry, I, um, got held up. Oh, never mind that. I need your advice on something. Oh, no. Here we go. So, I met Darren again last night. You know, the one with the funny ears. Captain Spock. Anyway, he invited me back to his last night. Finally! Wait, I thought you were seeing Tony. Keep up. Tony with the terrapins. Turned out he was married. So are you going to that drinks thing on Thursday? 
It's at that expensive cocktail bar, right? Nah, I think I'll pass. Oh well, you will be missed. Morning, or should I say afternoon? It's only just gone nine. Nine o two by my watch. Synced to Big Ben. Good grief. Careful, sunshine. Don't forget who's in charge around here. You're our supervisor, not our prison warden. <laughs> now all I can think about is Shaz in handcuffs. Do you even do any work round here? If you knew the pressure I'm under to hit the new targets, the fact I'm keeping it together is a miracle. We all have targets. Oh, he's popped up, hasn't he? You better wind your neck in. Don't forget you're on report for all those days off. Yeah, because he was in hospital. Shaz, that's tragic. Come on. Sake. Print, you bastard! Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. The printer doesn't work. Again. Thanks. Did you say you would like to change your account details? Supervisor. 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 I'll put you through to one of our support team advisors. Finally. We are currently experiencing a high number of calls. You are number 164 in the queue. Please hold. All right, 5.30. Let's get out of here. John, mate, where do you think you're going? Um, I'm going home. It's 5pm. I think we're entitled. Didn't you get my email? I marked it as important. You couldn't have missed it. No, I didn't get your email. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, there's been a bit of a foul-up. Anyway, I need the Royal Oak files completed by the start of tomorrow. I think it can keep. Mm, no can do. The big man upstairs says it's tomorrow or your department is in deep doo-doo. I'll stick around and help you out. Well, it's John's cases. I don't think we should set a precedent of sharing out work. Thanks, Shaz, but it's, it's OK. What about Molly? Oh, get a sitter. You go home. Good lad. All right. Well, if you're sure, I'll see you outside Molly's school tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Shaz. And remember, it's a school night, so don't get up to too much trouble. Ugh. You never sent an email, did you? Shit rolls downhill, mate.
God damn it. You forgot dinner, didn't you? Look, I'm sorry, Mo. It's, it's been a really long day. I, I just forgot. I think there's some jelly in the fridge. That'll do. It's kind of late for you to get back. I've been here since three o'clock. Well, Molly, what would you want me to do? Get a childminder? Yes. You don't need a childminder. And anyway, we can't afford one. Well, I did my homework. Do you want to check it? Yeah, just, just let me rest my eyes for five minutes and then I'll sort out food and then I'll take a look at your homework. All right? Sorry. I think I overslept again. Wait a minute. Where am I? Molly? Molly, are you here? What the hell is all this stuff? Where the hell am I? What's up with my voice? My body feels weird. 